a person may have all of the basic needs in life, but what kind of life is a life without joy? I actually did a career change at 26. I used to do marketing and advertising online, print, and I just felt like I wasn't making a difference. You are so much more than an educator when you work in a Title I school. I mean, you are teaching them life skills. You're teaching, you're their, a lot of times, the only um, consistent adult in their life. There was one little boy in my class named Jawan. I realized that he was, um, you know, pretty unmotivated in school, and it was because he never was given a reason to be motivated. So I thought, I've got to bond with him outside of here and show him that there's all these awesome things in the world you can do. You have to go through school first. I used to take him out on weekends and after school to get some experiences that he was missing out on. And on his birthday, I was letting him pick out some gifts at Walmart. And I was thinking, you know, $20 range. <laughs> and the gift he wanted was a bike. And I just thought, Mike, you don't have a bike? And it, you know, I, I taught in this poverty stricken school. I was so well aware of the poverty level, but I still, like the rest of society, t took this memory of riding a bike for granted. put much thought into it. I just did it. You know, I sat in my pajamas on the couch watching friends, created a GoFundMe and just started sharing it. And people connected with this idea that joy is a need as well. My initial goal was 65,000 and we ended up raising 80,200. We had all the kids come outside and they stood in the bus loop. And we had volunteers standing around and I said a little something in the microphone and then at the very end I said, and today you all get a brand new bike. And everyone lifted the parachutes and the kids were screaming and going wild. And I just kept thinking, this is happening. I feel, you know, worked up even thinking back to it. But it was, it was incredible. I mean, the kids are, are losing their minds because they're so excited that they're about to get something they never have but always wanted. I had an interview with somebody over the phone. They asked me, what's next? And I said, what do you mean what's next? I did it, you know, I'm done. And they said, you cannot be done. You've just unleashed something, this outlet that has been untouched before, it's been untalked about, and it's the idea of joy. It's not about the bike, it's about what the bike represents. When someone doesn't, isn't growing up with much joy, on top of a potentially unpleasant, unpredictable home life, providing joy can shape who they are. It can shift their mindset, it can shift, I mean, their whole life.